Hello and welcome to this week's Tuesdays with Ted. My name is Floyd Ponitz and I'm your host for today. And so grab yourself a cup of postum or whatever your favorite drink is. I have hot chocolate here in my uh, Seventh-day Adventist Kinship International mug and uh, I'll be enjoying that while we talk. So um, grab yourself a cup, put me on pause or whatever, and grab a cup of coffee or post them or whatever your favorite drink is, and uh, let's chat. Uh, so let's get started. Dear Ted Wilson, um, yeah, hope you're having a good week. Um, just wanted to touch base and talk about a couple things here. Looking back actually on 2023, uh, we're already a month and a half into 2024, but I'd like to do um, just to look back on 2023. Seems like it was quite a LGBTQIA plus queer Adventist year, and uh, seems or it feels like uh, we got under your skin just a little bit. Uh, sorry about that, maybe. Uh, I know you're familiar with Seventh Day Adventist Kinship International. Uh, it's an organization that started under your father's presidency. He was the first one that actually um, opened up dialogue with SDA Kinship. And um, that's been over 44 years ago. And we're still waiting for some dialogue from this Wilson president, uh, Ted Wilson, with the organization to help understand, help us understand you better and you understand us better. Um, so yeah, it's been quite a year. I know you've been keeping up with, uh, the kinship activities and there have been a few of them. The year actually started off, uh, with one of the pastors who you personally ordained, uh, several years ago, uh, with pastor Sasha in the Hamburg, uh, church, uh, Hamburg SDA church, the Grindel church coming out as bisexual in his Sabbath morning uh, sermon. And that caused a big wave, and I am sure that uh, caused some panic on your end, uh, because I don't know of too many other pastors who uh, actually came out as being queer and uh, wanted to keep their role. Most of the other ones that I am familiar with uh, uh, handed in their credentials and said it wasn't worth the fight. Uh, and and um, just the headache to try to remain a pastor. But I admire Pastor Sasha very much. He um, is 100% committed to, uh, to God, to loving the Lord, telling others about Jesus, and uh, just the wonderful things that God has done and continues to do. And uh, God has really blessed the, the Grindel SDA Church there in Hamburg. Um, with a very understanding uh, congregation, understanding conference and union presidents and constituency. And uh, I'm very proud that so many of them support, um, support Pastor Sasha. Uh, but that made some waves, and I'm sure you were not happy because you personally were the person who laid hands on him and ordained him. And uh, no, Sasha did not become... Uh, bisexual or queer because of what you did or didn't do. So uh, no worries there. Um, queerness is not something that's inherited. It's uh, not something uh, that, um, uh, well, it could be something that's inherited, but it's not something that uh, uh, someone uh, is contagious is the word I'm looking for. It's not contagious. So uh, anyway, I uh, just wanted to show off our kinship uh, logo here on the cup. Very proud of the three uh, uh, design here, reminiscent of the three angels message, uh, which should please you, uh, uh, Pastor Ted Wilson. Uh, so, yeah. So uh, anyway, Sasha coming out prompted you then uh, to later on create a sermon at one of the council meetings talking about the, uh, the sins of homosexuality in the church and uh, bisexuality, queerness, transgender uh, people coming out in the church. And I know uh, this is of great consternation from you, for you uh, because you 
obviously do not understand what it means to be any of the letters LGBTQIA. Um, so yeah, in that sermon, you basically told anyone who, uh, you said everyone is welcome and everyone needs to be loved, but at the same time, if you want to be queer, if you want to be gay, get out of the church is pretty much what your message was. And then you enlisted people like um, Mark Finley to uh, do a, a story, uh, a sermon on it. And uh, Danny Shelton followed suit with his. Uh, and again, as I said last week, when people hear these sermons, uh, queer people hear these sermons, they just shake their head because it's so obvious that you have no clue what it means to be a queer person or to be even a parent of a queer person. I know you have queer uh, family members. Your uncle uh, was gay. I think you have a gay cousin, perhaps, uh, and other family members that I'm aware of. Uh, I don't know if you've ne ever talked to them about this or not, or um, what the story is, but uh, obviously you have not sat down with kinship uh, and talked with uh, healthy Christian uh, people who uh, love the church, want to stay in the church, or are a part of the church every Sabbath and uh, still identify as gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, etc. So um, in the process, uh, a sermon, um, not a sermon, but a pastor in the Minnesota conference um, has a transgender daughter and uh, was given the ultimatum that either you do not support your transgender daughter or you leave the pulpit, the ministry. And uh, he's just one example of so many pastors who uh, are leaving or being asked to leave because they are supportive of their, uh, their queer children, as they should be. Way too many Adventist parents uh, kick their children out or tell them that they're not going to pay for their tuition anymore if there's if they continue to be gay well <laughs> sorry to tell you or happy to tell you gay is not something that you can turn off or on or be or not be you either are or you're not and uh, hopefully one of these days you will talk with someone who is gay and uh, not trying to just please you or say what they want what you want them to say and you can hear a true story. So SDA Kinship is still open and uh, willing and ready to talk with you. Um, so you created this human sexuality website uh, and all of these op uh, points that I'm talking about today, we can actually do a whole segment on and talk more about um, that website. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if anyone has actually gone to it and looked at it, there's not a whole lot of substance there, not a lot of credibility. Um, and not a lot of honesty there. So, um, but I'll save that one actually for another time to go into depth with. Um, I know it also got under your skin that the European Kinship Meeting was held on the campus of Friedensau Theological University in Friedensau, Germany. And um, we were just like any other group. They did not host us. They rented a space to us, and it was wonderful to, for us to be there with our Adventist uh, brethren, uh, sisters, uh, family, and be able to uh, worship together and be treated as just plain part of the family. They didn't look at us as being those queer Adventists or anything like that. Uh, so that was a true, true blessing, and uh, I know that... Uh, probably got the hair on the back of your neck a little frazzled. Um, and then a few months later, the uh, U.S. International Camp Meeting, Kinship Camp Meeting, took place just next to the campus of La Sierra University. And uh, thankfully, the La Sierra University Church is truly a godly example of how Christians should act um, and treat other people. And... Uh, they truly welcomed us and uh, made us feel very much at home there. And uh, I thank God for the La Sierra University Church um, and the, the people the, the people who go there to worship. Um, again, it was a wonderful experience to interact with them and to uh, uh, be next door uh, just off campus uh, in a facility, in a um, facility in uh, uh, 
in a space where we could feel safe. And uh, I know there was a lot of negativity around this anticipation. A lot of falsehoods were told by people in the church that uh, never were true. And uh, anyway, it was a blessing. And uh, yeah, it's too bad that uh, that you or the conference president or other officials didn't show up to actually say hello and uh, take the chance to, to dialogue, to talk with us while we were there. So that was um, a blessing as well. Um, so a lot of things happened in 2023. I am excited about what's going to happen in 2024. No, the devil is not getting um, um, more brave uh, and uh, more active uh, with the queer community in the church. Um, more queer people are, are realizing that God loves them just as they are and that they are just as much an Adventist as you are or any other person is. Uh, that their queerness, their L, their lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, asexual, intersex, uh, questioning, whatever it is, does not make them unfit for God or for heaven. And um, being uh, any of those letters part of the rainbow community uh, is a beautiful thing, and people are realizing and understanding that. And any time that you preach a sermon uh, against that, or issue a statement uh, that uses words that don't even exist, um, such as transgenderism. Um, yeah, you just drive a wedge and, uh, and more people leave the church. So I'm very thankful that SDA Kinship exists and uh, provides a safe community for those who need that community, not only for those who are LGBTQIA+, but as well as for the families who want to learn to understand and accept their, their family members and the supportive allies, the pastors who support us. Um, you know, you can quote uh, uh, incorrect statistics uh, or, or make uh, incorrect statements. Uh, you, Mark Finley, Danny Shelton, whoever, uh, but that doesn't stop anything. Uh, the truth will prevail, and uh, uh, I'm very proud of this. So, Alder Wilson, thank you for listening, and I look forward to speaking with you again next week. Uh, my email box is always open. My phone is always open. Feel free to contact me, and uh, let's talk. Let's chat uh, uh, outside of this uh Tuesdays with Ted uh, video. And if this is whoever's listening, if this is your first time uh, to hear about Seventh-day Adventist Kinship International, we are the only safe affirming community for queer Adventists, their families and their uh, allies and loved ones. And you can reach us uh, by look, checking out our website, sdakinship.org, or find us on all of the uh, social media with, uh, with at SDA Kinship. You can also um, maybe check out the hashtag SDA Kinship and find us. As always, my name is Floyd Punitz, and uh, I look forward to chatting, to talking, and wishing you all a great week coming up. See you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye. Is there anybody willing to follow me? And is anybody thirsty? Is anyone hungry? Anybody die?